word problem? It says, you should be looking at the board or your paper. It says, 14 shopping baskets are stacked equally in seven piles. What's the important information in this problem? In that sentence, Alex? That seven piles have seven piles. Okay. So that they're in seven piles. What else? 14 shopping baskets. And that there are 14 shopping baskets. Um, that was a tricky one. Why? Because it's in the word instead it's of the number. It's in the word form instead of the number, but you still have to know it. Okay? That's an important one. What does the 14 tell us? Shopping How many shopping baskets? How many shopping baskets? How many in all? Okay, so the question is, how many baskets are in each pile? They want us to model the problem with both an array and a labeled tape diagram. Show each column as the number of baskets in each pile. Okay, so remember, 14 is the total. The piles, what would you call the piles? Uh, would they be the, they would be groups. Good job, Reese. They would be the groups, right? So, um, number of groups, do we show them in rows or columns? Row. Row. Rows. Rows, okay? So I'm gonna make seven rows for my array. Now, if I know 14 divided by seven, I can go on and figure out what needs to go in this next spot and how many columns that I need. But if I don't know, what can I do? What can I do? Sadie? Divide. Divide. I can divide, but what if I don't what if I don't know those facts? What should I do? Jacqueline? Fair you share. Keep on going until you get to 14. Very good. Keep on going until I get to 14. And Betty told us fair share. So how many was this first column? Seven. Seven. So then we're going to do 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's my array. So how many columns do I have? Two. Two, Two columns. So that's going to be my answer. Am I finished? No. No, because they want me to draw a labeled tape diagram too. Okay? Now, I told you one way you can do it is to copy the array, okay? So you can just copy the array if you want to. We're gonna box it in because that reminds us what? The total, all of them. And how many are in the total? 14, right? 14 baskets. What else do we know? What else do we know, Charles? No, we didn't know that. Look, the only information they gave us in the word problem was the 14 and the 7. So 7 piles is the other thing we know. How can I show my 7 piles or 7 groups in this array? What can I do, Betty? You can draw a line. Good. Draw lines to separate them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? So that shows us what? How many is in each? Two. Two. Two what? Baskets. Baskets. Two baskets in each. Now the other way I told you and it's on the other video that I told you I was going to share with your parents on YouTube. You can do it this way. When you think of your total, draw a box, draw a rectangle, and how many total do I have? Fourteen. Okay. How many groups did I have? Seven. Seven groups. So look, just take that. Do we have to write that? No, you do not have to write this. It's the same thing as this. I'm just doing it a little differently. Okay? Instead of just copying the array, I'm taking the information and really thinking about it. Okay? So, draw a box which represents 14 total. 
and I have seven groups. So what am I going to do to my box now? No. The groups. This is not the one where we're just going to copy the array. I'm going to draw the groups. So I'm going to make groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got to add another one over there. Seven. Now, if I have 14 total, what can I do to draw and finish drawing my tape diagram? Fill it in. Fill it in with circles, um, just like you do in array. And you can figure share to do it. It's the same thing as you did when you copied your array. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When do I stop? Whenever you fill it. Whenever you fill How do I know I filled it, though? You have to go to 14. When I go 14. Whenever I get to the total, which is 14, so I'm at 7 now. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so now I've gotten to the total. I used um, my seven groups to fair share. And so now I know how many are in each group. Two. Just like I did the other way, but I did it side to side instead of up and down. And I didn't just copy the array, even though you can do it that way. Okay? All right, so that's how you're going to do a diagram, a tape diagram.